So let's look at uh, some of my top favorite applications. I said there were 20 apps that I are my favorite applications. I'm going to start off in the productivity segment. Of course, it's the Bank of America app. It's a very solid app from Bank of America. You can do all your banking tools all there. I am not going to show you that because I'm not showing you my bank account, but it's very similar to what you have on Windows Phone as well as also on Android and um, iOS. So the uh, Bank of America app, uh, I'll just show you the uh, start screen. And um, it's a very solid app. You can add accounts, various accounts in there if you want to. And that works out pretty well. So let's close that out. Uh, the next application we're going to look at here and the productivity here is actually Rowi. Rowi is a Twitter-based um, application which you can download from the App Store. It's free. Uh, all the apps I'm going to talk about today are all free applications. And uh, of course, this has push notifications. Cool thing about the app is you can see the background. There's a background image there. And you can actually add different images to your background um, uh, it, with this application. All you have to do is slide open from the right, go to your settings. And in your settings, you can um, configure and you can add background image. That's the image I added. I can go in there and change images. I only have one image, so I'm still going to use that one. And boom, I have that. It's very nice. Uh, you can see where it separates um, your tweets in the middle. And of course, you have your different, um, you have your feed here, you have your mentions, and you have your direct messages on there. So you do have. Um, uh, a very nice well laid out metro application so that is the uh, Rowi app next application I'm actually going to talk about is called Metro Commander Metro, Command Metro Commander is a file management application that allows you to um, uh, manage files across um, um, across your Microsoft Surface. Now you don't have to go to desktop much of that, you can actually use this application. And you can move things around from folders to folders. So, so for instance, I'm in, my, and you can select your main folder. I selected my main folder as my SD card. So this is my SD card. And I'm going to go into other movies and I'm going to pick a movie here. And uh, I can either play it in this case, or if I go back here again, sorry. I can show you, I can either um, slide menu up, I can decide to move this from one folder to, to another, so I can hold down, and then I can decide to copy to another folder, I'm going to pick SkyDrive, as you see it's playing in the background, uh, the video I picked, while well, I decide to move it from one folder to another, so it's in SkyDrive, and I can decide to copy from SkyDrive over and copy and I'm moving it to my SkyDrive and it's copying that folder to my SkyDrive right there so uh, that movie to SkyDrive so that's pretty cool as you can see it still plays the video in the background while you're still moving around which is a very nice uh, cool feature to have so we will um, and we can select where we want to put in my SkyDrive to decide to access that so if I want to I can put it in one And I can select the folder, or I can just select there and place it in that folder. So that's pretty much it. And that is the Metro Commander app, which is pretty nice. Just going to close that out. The next application uh, we're going to look at here is G Voice. Uh, it's an okay application. It's not the best, uh, needs some updates, but allows you to, to definitely send text messages on Google Voice if you have Google Voice on your smartphone and also check your messages on there. Um, still needs a lot of updates but G Voice I see is, is still a nice application to have. Uh, now in entertainment, a bunch of applications here I like in the entertainment hub. Uh, first off is Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus uh, pretty much um, is you know your full version of Hulu Plus from the web on your uh, Surface and it's a very thoroughly uh, laid out application you can see shows you featured shows here you can scroll through on the top and see shows that are, are featured on uh, on Hulu Plus scroll to the side she has your categories from TV movies trailers clips Latino Q shows you watch I watch Supernatural The Office uh, Kenichi Castle Fringe New Girl um, those are the shows I watch stuff that's going viral uh, and then of course you can also search for shows and you can type in and search there and it's very simple so it's a very very cool app and I like um, I definitely like Hulu Plus another app here of course is Netflix um, I haven't set up Netflix um, on this um, 
uh, surface. I've done, I've done another, but uh, allows you to you know go through your Netflix catalog, watch movies, uh, add your queue and things like that. So that's also a very good app and pretty solid overall. Um, another app here to look at, of course, I do love Skype. Uh, we've shown shown you Skype earlier. Skype is very solid. Um, the interface is much better. We'll just give you a quick look here. You can see I have my recent. Uh, uh, call log there. I have my favorites and I have people who are online. You can see it's a very live tile look and feel. Of course, I can jump in and make calls. I can jump into the messages I've had with these people. As you can see, I can go back. I can make calls. So it's very, um, just you know, it's very visual and gives you a very nice solid look at uh, Skype. So that's another solid app uh, there. Uh, another app I do like uh, is the is called. Um, you stop this video and head back. ESP and FC. I'm a big soccer fan, so this allows me to follow my teams in Europe and also around the world. Uh, teams are Arsenal, Real Madrid. I can look at the teams. I can see Champions League schedules. I can um, look at the latest news across, um, you know, in the soccer world, features, and also watch videos. So they have videos and things like that. I can go into my team. So. I can go to Arsenal here, get some more in-depth Arsenal news, um, look at what they're talking about, results, uh, fixtures and schedules. Very, very in-depth application, very cool, and a very nice app. I think a lot of people who are soccer fans will definitely like. Probably, the hopefully, ESPN releases an NFL app like that, you know, or NBA app since the NBA season uh, is out and available. Uh, the other two apps in entertainment are Slacker Radio, which, of course, you can sign in. I can... Um, pick uh, sh uh, sh stations and via genre I can go to my favorites I can look at albums I can I can look at what's playing now and I can look at different artists so um, it's pretty nice I can stop playing here I can pause I can skip forward, forward and back so that's something very nice to have with uh, slacker radio and as you can see it's also taking a very a very metro UI look which is also nice so allows you to navigate and enjoy the different applications uh, the different um, songs or albums here that they have another cool app that also is based on um, you know music and radio is TuneIn Radio now TuneIn Radio uh, allows you to look for its local stations either within your area or internationally or say you moved from you live in Seattle you now in Massachusetts you can actually find your station on here and is either search for it and select your stations. You can see it already pulls up the local stations in my area. And I can also search for stations. Um, I can search by genre, sports, news, talk, language, or even look at po podcasts or by location. So it's a very nice app that you can actually use to, to pick what you know stations you're used to and get the radio you really love and uh, like to listen to. Now we move into gaming. Now gaming, um, these are a couple of free free game applications uh, I found at, in the uh, Windows uh, Windows uh, Windows 8 Store apps, uh, and there are a couple of them that are. Uh, one of them is an Xbox app, so based, uh, gaming application, so which means of course it's tied to your Xbox uh, um, live uh, live account. And we'll check that out. That is uh, Joyride. It's a very simple simple game. Just takes some time to load up here. Um, that allows you to you basically have a rocket pack that's that is powered by a bunch of machine guns and you have to hover above enemies and use that to kill them as well as also traverse uh, across the um, you know your gaming uh, arena so let's take a look at uh, some of the gameplay here so it signs you into Xbox Live and there we go you can see very simple You have to dodge, of course, obstacles, use your machine gun. And you have a gravity suit, you can run through. Oops! So you get the picture there. And again, you get, of course, your, your game of points because you, you're playing on Xbox Live. Um, and there's Gun for Hire, which is... Um, Let's see, um, so almost like an RTS um, mission-based uh, game. All right, 
cool, cool, cool. More. Let's go back to squad. To show you what we have here. Okie dokie. All right, so the next game we have here um, is Tower Blocks. It's pretty much like Tetris. Um, actually, it is Tetris. It's just named differently. And it's controlled by touch controls. You can spin the individual blocks. And drop them. So you get the idea. So basically, you have Tetris on there. It's just this name. It's just isn't named Tetris. And of course, you know, speed and level increases as you go along. All right, and uh, a couple of the games here we have Radiant, which is um, uh, pretty much a updated version of uh, Galaga, uh, in where you have asteroids that come in and you're shooting them. Uh, this auto shoots for you. It's too casual. And of course, you move from side to side with your, um, you know, your controls here. And you can select, of course, your weapons or your cannons. So you get the general idea here. All right, we have that, and we have. Um, this is Buka. Again, a game from Hexage. I would do Journey. So yeah, you get the general idea of the game. I'm actually just not good at it. And um, finally here, we have Soulcraft, which is a pretty interesting game. Uh, let's just give you some gameplay here and show you what Soulcraft is all about. Continue, you have movements and spells. So you get the idea of Soulcraft, you can use spells, magic, things like that, potions, so you get the general idea. So those are the 20 applications as well as some of the shortcuts and um, um, tips with, uh, with uh, Windows 8 RT on, on the surface. Again, it's very simple to create uh, groups, you can create d different kinds of groups on your device. You just have to pinch and zoom in and of course... Um, slide it up and that's pretty much it so 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'll put a list of all the applications out there for you. Uh, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on um, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, it's all Border Work with Two O's. Before I finish, I forgot one more app actually, which should make it 20. It is Cocktail Flow. It's my favorite app. Um, shows you different cocktails you can make. Um, actually, if I just head to the beginning, you can sort drinks by uh, type of alcohol, the color, the type of drinks itself. You can stock your bar. You can tag your favorites, and you can look at your different barware and garnishes. And it's very easy. It's very uh, visual and descriptive. It takes a very good look at the use of at the of the UI itself with the live tiles, as well as the whole um, metro or modern UI style look. So you can say, pick a type of drink from rum, and you like the Brass Monkey. Shows you the content ingredients. Also shows you how to make it right here in preparation and gives you similar cocktails that you can actually pick from uh, so you can jump there and make other things and make other drinks and it's a pretty cool app so that's pretty much it guys uh, again thank you very much and uh, always enjoy entertainment